Ladies and gentlemen, General Champo, our moderator. Steve, thank you for that very kind introduction. Uh, good day, everyone. We appreciate all of you for joining us from around the globe in South Korea, Europe, and the United States. I'd also like to thank um, our lean and talented KDVA team for organizing this webinar. As Steve said, this webinar focuses on the importance of the command post exercises in Korea. These are computer-driven exercises based on different scenarios that the Combined Forces Command could face and would need to train for. They train the commanders and staffs of the Combined Forces Command, U.S. Forces Korea, Republic of Korea Joint Chiefs of Staff, United Nations Command, and both U.S. and Korean subordinate units. These exercises are essential to ensure readiness and to deter North Korea. Our webinar today will give you an insider's look at these exercises from the best expert out there, Lieutenant General Dave Alcourt. He has been the senior mentor for CPXs in Korea for many years, many team with the late General Hondo Campbell, another great leader, coach, and mentor, God rest his soul. General Alcourt's first exercise in 2011 was General Skip Sharp's last CPX, and his final CPX in 2017 was General Vince Brooks' very first exercise. So they're interesting bookends indeed, since General Brooks will take over as the KDVA chairman and president from General Sharp this October, October 2020. I was fortunate to work with General Valcourt on eight exercises when I was at UNC, CFC, USFK, Operations Chief and Chief of Staff and 8th Army Commander. General Valcourt was 8th Army Commander um, from 2016 to 2000, and, excuse me, 2006 to 2008. He also served as the Deputy Commanding General and Chief of Staff of the United States Army Europe, 2005 to 2006, and retired in 2010 after serving as the Deputy Commanding General and Chief of Staff of the United States Army Training Doctrine Command in Fort Monroe, Virginia. In post-military retirement, General Valcourt serves as a, on the boards of both the Field Artillery Association and the Korean Defense Veterans Association. He is also a senior mentor with the Mission Command Training Program at Fort, Levin, uh, at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas. And most people in Korea remember him as the exercise arm who helped build the CFC teams and helped protect South Korea. I'm really honored to be here with my Sombeinim because no one knows CPX is in Korea better than General Valcourt. So, sir, let, let's just start by me asking you, how did you become the senior mentor for exercises and why? Well, thanks, Bernie. And uh, first of all, thanks for that w warm introduction. Uh, I'm sure my mom, if she was saying it, would be uh, very proud. And I would also mm -hmm. like to give my best wishes to everyone who's on the net and watching this discussion uh, listening to the discussion this morning, those uh, here in the States, as well as those this evening in Korea. Uh, Steve, uh, again, your, your leadership as the Senior Vice President uh, is, is deeply appreciated. Uh, the KDVA BOD did meet this week and, and recognized, of course, uh, General Skip Sharp. And uh, I know he's on the net, and I have to uh, share with everyone, uh, that first exercise, I never thought I was going to get that first deck of slides past General, uh, General Sharp, but I did. And uh, of course, General Brooks, uh, as, as my last exercise, and I'd also add in there that General Jung, who's the vice chairman of uh, ADVA, uh, was in fact the ROC chairman during that very first exercise. So Bernie, you asked me, you know, how and why. Uh, I used to, when someone was approaching retirement, they'd come up and ask me if I had any wisdom for them. And I was, my answer was always the same, very straightforward. Uh, number one, don't rush to failure meaning you need to take some time and think about you've been on a very fast train. You need to stop and think about what you're doing. And the second thing is, uh, whatever you do decide to do, it needs to scratch your itch. In other words, it needs to feed your passion. And you better be happy who you see in the morning mirror. And so following those two rules, I decided to try to find a way to continue to be a soldier. And they say a soldier for life. And so I volunteered to be a senior mentor. And unlike the program that I'm currently in with the Mission Command Training Program at Leavenworth, this was specifically just for Korea, and I work for U.S. Forces Korea, J-37. Because again, as a senior mentor, you need to be value-added. 
and, uh, and not just looking for something to do. So it was a five-year appointment appointed by the Secretary of the Army and uh, with a one-year extension. And so that's, that's how it all came about. The reason I decided to go to Korea, again, you, you need to be relevant. I had three tours there, and I always found my experiences in Korea were, were positive. I used to have this saying, there's three things you can do, work, work out, or maybe get yourself in a little mischief. I always left Korea in the best shape of my life. If you work hard and, and you worked out, didn't get in trouble. And finally, I just said, I always have had a warm heart uh, for the rest of us clients and for rock friends. Thanks, Bernie. Yeah, it's a, you know, so it's a tremendous way to, to give back and to help grow generations of leaders, both uh, Korean and U.S. I actually sending state leaders too. Um, so, so thank you for that.